DTP happened. Is it a disease? Yeah, but it's not your common cold. It doesn't come from a natural cause. It's poisoning. Distinctive trait poisoning. A poisoning? A determination. Melting, I thought. I th th thought you tried to s save him. No, Al. He was perfectly fine before starting that experiment. He did it to himself. He... he injected himself with determination on purpose? Yes, that's exactly what that fool did. It had been eating him alive for some time until eventually it took his life. We tried to get DT out of him and we almost succeeded. But his soul wasn't able to endure the pressure it put him through and... Well... Here we are. That's why I was against you studying human souls. All that trait research cost Gaster everything, and our team disappeared trying to get him back. I never told Asgore what happened here, and what caused Gaster's death. And never mentioned it to Papyrus. Everyone believes that he died to an unfortunate accident. But, Sans, why are you saying that he died? I mean, he is there. He's still alive. Elf. He is not the same skeleton anymore. He isn't even a skeleton. Gaster, I knew, died all those years ago, and nothing will bring him back. Believe me, we tried. <sighs> but... This time it might be different. Now we can get DT out of him. The capsule won't let his soul escape. We still have a chance to save the person he has become. Sons! How can you say something like this? He's still your father, and your souls are still connected with that skeleton thingy. Uh... If I had my parents back, I would be grateful, no matter what they look like. You've been through a lot, but you must pull yourself together and learn to accept him, even if he does not recognize you. You know, Al, that was a bit harsh. Where's the kindness that monsters are so well known for? It is kindness. Sometimes it just isn't pretty. <sighs> and I thought green was a pretty looking color. Sans, please, I'm serious. It's not a laughing matter. Do I look like I'm smiling? Uh. Alright then. Determination is what's causing all the problems with this condition. Since it's a disease he never had a chance to recover from. We just need to adjust the extraction machine a little so it can harvest the excessive trait in its entirety. Can you do it, Al? Uh, uh, huh? M me? W what about you? Hey, I wasn't working with that thing. Especially when it comes to souls and stasis capsules. Oh, r right. W let me see. Oh, his soul is damaged as well. That's not good at all. How's he still alive? Uh, uh, oh, look! This line of information. Some of the determination that's in his soul has different properties. It appears to have the same magic frequency as his soul. You mean, his soul produced determination of its own? Y yes I've never seen anything like this before. I... didn't even know it was possible. The scanner. It separated the data between his natural soul and the parts that were filled with determination. It didn't recognize that his soul is whole. It's just 
made out of different parts. Oh dear. Well, at least it helps a little with the extraction machine settings. I just need to trace the foreign determination signature from this data and enter it into the extraction machine. Well, let's do this then. Y yeah, let's do this. He wasn't responsive to the healing items, but, but that doesn't mean we can't heal him. I, I can f find some information on old healing the medicine. I'm sure there's something that, that will. Hmm? Uh, oh, Chris. Hey, kiddo. <clears throat> yep, we did it. Hey, Al. How's it going? Uh-oh. Hello, Sans. W well, the, the medicine is certainly working, although his HP is rising ever so slightly. But, but so since we don't know neither his max HP nor the minimum at which point he'll wake up, we just have to, to keep waiting. I see. That reminds me. We'll have to talk to Undyne at some point. Uh, oh, th that's right. I was just thinking that I should go to her when you take your shift. Sure, I can start now. Also, the kid wants to go as well. The Frisk? B but I don't think it's a good idea. Undyne won't. Yeah, but they mention how they can go even through her ultimate desire to gain the last human soul. And I'd rather believe them on this one. Oh, the resets. O okay, but I still don't think it's safe. I believe in you, Al. No one else can make it work except you. Especially when it comes to Undyne. But, but I... How? Just give me a call if you need anything. Ah, okay, bye. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you for your approval, Your Highness. Oh, it's nothing, Gaster. It is so wonderful for us all to see what you and your team have done so far to help the Underground. Granting you access to the barrier is the least we could do to return the favor. And, knowing you, I believe that you must already have a plan in your mind. Yes. You see, for the past few years, I've been developing a magical construct that can help us understand the magic power behind the barrier. Oh? How so? To put it simply, instead of compressing magic into a solid state, like a bone attack, the weapon is connected directly to the summoner's soul and utilizes the raw magical energy that comes out of it. 
It is designed to produce a magic force that is limited only by the strength of the said soul. So you decided to create something that could potentially match the power used to seal the barrier. It's quite remarkable, my friend. Thank you, Asgore. But even so, I wouldn't hold my breath. As of now, the prototype is merely a tool for research. I highly doubt that today you'll get the results you seek. Dr. Gaster... Everything is set, and we're ready to start the test. Thank you, Benjamin. You can start the recording. We don't want to miss anything that might be of interest. Understood. It might be unsafe for you to be near the barrier while the weapon is in use. So, we would ask you to take a step back. Of course. Dr. Gaster, we've gathered all the data. You can start now. The scanner didn't pick up any changes within the barrier. <sighs> Perfect. Wait, you were expecting a negative result? But it doesn't make any sense. A result is still a result, Sons. Not every experiment should end in an instant success. That's not what I meant, G. You spent decades polishing the blasters, you failed, and you're not only okay with it, you're actually proud of it. Why? Remember that the weapon project was originally part of a different one? Yeah, I've noticed that, but none of the reports described what you were doing. Benjamin and I were aware that no magical creature under Mount Abbott would ever be able to compete with the power humans exhibited when they created the barrier. But only in theory. Humans are beings of incredible magic potential, capable of achieving goals no monster or skeleton could ever dream of. The way magic flows in their bodies grants them much more power... than... <clears throat> hey! Gee, are you alright? I... I am... <clears throat> It's just a side effect of overusing the blasters at full capacity. Jeez, man. I know you put your heart and soul into your work, but you really should leave some for yourself. <sighs> Very true. You should probably take a day or two off. How does that sound? Hmm. It sounds reasonable. Too reasonable for my liking. Huh? So, as I was saying, humans were able to control magic even better than any skilled mage of our kin. It was logical to assume that we were meant to fail, but we needed a practical result before venturing into further research. Huh? This, my friend, is a distinctive trait extraction machine. Trade extraction machine. So that's what you've been working on all these years. It looks cool. Thank you. The name is pretty bland, though. You could have asked me for help. Even though I would gladly do so, I'm sure Benjamin would not be pleased with even more pun-based names for new inventions. He almost had a stroke when I told him I'd be naming the soul weapon Gaster Blaster. <laughs> Can't blame him. So, this thing is supposed to extract traits? Why make something like that? You do remember that human souls aren't white, unlike monster or skeleton souls. 
This is due to a unique difference that makes human souls stronger. While souls of magical creatures are balanced with the union of all seven traits, thus gaining white color, human souls are filled with the stronger presence of one single trait, hence the color difference between all of them. So, it's like a stronger version of a skeleton trait. Exactly. Huh, not surprising they were that strong. I mean, considering how good you are at magic, humans might be one hell of a threat. Hmm. Even getting just one step closer to that level of power would require us to create something new. Making a new soul is out of the question, for we have neither the technology nor the resources to conduct an experiment at this level. But we can try to override a balanced monster soul by forcing an additional trait into it to produce an adequate substitute for a human soul. That... doesn't sound right. No, of course not. If I had any other option, I would gladly avoid interfering with the way souls work. But we don't have anything else. All we've got is the underground and its inhabitants to work with. Wait, hold on. How do you plan on getting the treats in the first place? <sighs> you won't like it either. Absolutely not! We have calculated every possible outcome. Using a living monster for such a test will result in unnecessary sacrifices. This is our only available alternative. Gaster, I respect you as both a scientist and a friend, but monsters are not a resource you can use. And you know that better than anyone. We need to at least try it. If our theory proves to be a success, we might get a monster-human soul substitute to cross the barrier. I will not grant you permission to use fallen monsters for your research. I will. Tori. I witnessed you at the barrier, Gaster, and I know you long enough to understand the reasons behind your choices. You put everything you have into trying to set all of us free. That is not an easy task for you to carry out as well, but if it brings the monster kind closer to freedom, I will allow it with my decree. But Toriel, this is immoral. We can't take such risks. It may cost us hope. The only thing that helps us survive under this mountain. Hope will eventually wither away as we remain trapped underground. Our people need to hear about some progress. Dreadful as they are, these are the steps to the surface. Monsters deserve to live, not survive, Asgore. <sighs> Dr. Gaster, we will notify everyone that each fallen monster has to be delivered to you. All we ask is to return their dust for funerals. Of course. Thank you, Your Majesties. The soul is still stable. Good. Benjamin and Serpentine will set up the extraction machine soon. I still can't believe that we're actually doing this. I can't believe that we were allowed to, either. I thought the king was too soft for that kind of stuff. He is. Even so, it makes him a great pillar of hope in these dire days, and it is exactly what the monster kind needs. But the queen has the inner strength to make necessary sacrifices and ensure a better, long-lasting future. If today is successful, we will be able to sustain Underground's hope throughout our initial trait-gathering process. 
Speaking of that, you guys did calculate how long it would take to get the required minimum. Yes. We don't have all the numbers, but it'll take at least a couple of decades to gain at least one trait. Jeez, talk about a long road ahead. Since we're working with balanced combinations, we can only have one shot at each and every soul we get. We have to be very cautious when it comes to deciding which trait to extract. If there's a severe misaligning of trait balance, it brings the risk of the dying soul shattering prematurely, making other traits unattainable as a result. And we'll have to wait until eventually we get a soul to work with in the first place. They've completed the preparations. Yeah. Test soul number one. Dominant trait, patience. Soul frequency is equal to 153. The extraction matrix is aligned. Launching in three, two, one. The procedure is finished. The machine functions flawlessly, Dr. Gaster. We've extracted the patient's trait of the soul in its entirety. Route the extractor to the outer stasis capsule. Right away, sir. So, we did it. We've successfully gotten a trade out of a monster's soul. Yes. Now, we have to wait. <laughs> <laughs>